Hey everyone, instead of doing a live, I'm going to do a regular video today. And that is just because I'm starting to get a little bit burnt out with doing so many lives. Um, so what I want to do is probably stick to Monday and Thursday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Monday and Thursday lives. And then... Just because I want to keep it fun, I don't want to make myself feel like I have to do it. So, so yeah, Monday, Monday, Thursday at 10 p.m. at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So there's a couple really interesting things that I've been trying to work out, trying to figure out. And just a br brief recap, my name is Erin. And I, for the past seven months, have been going through benzodiazepine withdrawal, um, clonazepam to diazepam, so clonopin to Valium, and j came off of that. So it's been seven months since I have been off of benzos completely. I feel like I'm doing relatively well. Um, I still have my TMJ, which I've been talking about. Um, I do see the dentist. They were able to fit me in. I went in last week. Um, they did a CT scan. They did 3D impressions. They did so many different things. And now that they get those test results back, I see the doctor on Monday, the dentist on Monday, to go over my test results and figure out what the treatment is. So I hope that speeds, you know, catches you guys up on what's going on. So what has been happening? Um, I'm really, really hopeful that this TMJ is going to be resolved and I'm going to be able to like live my life again and be able to travel again and be able to like not feel pain, discomfort, frustration, anxiety because it's in my face. And it's just very overwhelming. Like I do feel overwhelmed so much of the time um, because it's just, it's in your face. So it's not, it's a little bit harder to not think about it. <clears throat> so what I am thinking now is planning my daughter's birthday party. I wanted to get, I'm doing like a taco catering where they do like the tacos, um, the chicken or beef and the beans and rice and all that. We're going to, we're going to do that for her birthday. It's her sweet 16. So we're doing it like pretty amazing, you know. Um, so we're all we're gonna do an Alice in Wonderland theme. Um, I was also looking into char charcuterie boards, the meat, the cheese, you know, those boards, and coming, you know, looking at those, they charge you double. Um, they charge you double what or triple what the price of food is so i was like okay like i'm gonna do the catering for the tacos and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do the charcuterie board myself um ordering all the food is gonna be like 60 bucks i'm gonna be able to decorate it and i'm gonna be able to do all that it's gonna be super fun so while doing that i was like why don't i own my, open up my own um catering company company doing charcuterie boards and um and so I started looking into like business licenses and all that stuff. It turns out that they're like a lot of money. It's like it would be a good $2,000 to get all the licenses that I would need, which is just, I feel like it's criminal. I feel like a business license should not be $500. I feel like an LLC should not be $200. I feel like the health stuff should not, it just shouldn't be that much. To open up your own business should not be thousands of dollars. But that's just my input on the, the situation. It's just, it's awful. Um, so then I went back to, okay, how do I, you know, do that without digging into the house account where it pays our bills, like my husband's checks, where it pays for everything. Uh, I don't want to take from that. Um, so then I was like, okay, well, I can deliver food from Instacart. Um, that way I just don't want to work another nine to five job. I don't want to go back to teaching aesthetics. I definitely don't want to go back to doing aesthetics. Um, 
I'm just really burnt out after 15 years. I am just really burnt out with doing aesthetics. Um, I would go back to teaching it, but it's just, it just doesn't pay that much. Um, I mean, it, it just, yeah, it's not great. Um, so it just got me to thinking, okay, so how can I do my own business where if I need to take a week off, I can for the kids. If I need to pick them up, I can do, 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 do. So, and then also they can go with me and help me cater. They can come with me to a house and help me do it, which is really, really cool. So now I'm thinking about doing Instacart. Um, I did apply. They don't have an opening right now, but I figure if I do Instacart for six months, I can pay for all my licenses and that will help get me started. Um, when I ran, I ran for um, a politician spot here in my state. I ran four years ago and I did my own website. I did a lot of my own stuff. Um, I did the Wix, W-I-X website. And so I feel like a lot of stuff I can kind of do on my own. Um, but it's tricky. It's really tricky. It's crazy because my father-in-law who passed away, um, he was so business oriented. He owned so many different businesses and I just, it makes me even sadder when you're like, I know the perfect person that would be able to, to help me with this. And it kind of hurts even more when I was a couple of years into aesthetics, I wanted to open up my own spa and he kind of went over stuff with me. He was like, this is that, this is that. And he got me to see that it was going to be many years before I started turning a profit. And my kids were really young at that point. So he was like, I wouldn't do it. You're going to have to put a lot of time into this business. Your kids are very young. I think they were seven, six, and three or something like that. They, like, they needed my attention. They were doing like school stuff and doing all that stuff. So like I wanted to give them my attention. I never – they only spent – my daughter spent probably 10 days in daycare her whole life. Um, other than that, it was like family or friends that would watch them. My son spent one day in daycare. He wouldn't stop crying. And uh, they had to keep getting my daughter and she had to come hold him because he just wouldn't stop crying. And finally, they called me and said, he won't stop crying and I don't know what to do. And I was like, those are like the dreaded words. I don't know what to do. So I was like, okay. Um, I left work. I was like, I got to go get my son. And I was like, I have to quit. Like he can't go to daycare. He won't chill out. And we did, he's, our kids are very like self-sufficient. Like we put the, we would put them in the room and just walk out. We never had to lay with them. We never had to like, you know, if they whine that they wanted water, we, you know, speak to us. What do you want? You know, stop whining. But my son, when he was born, he didn't like men. Um, he would, um, my husband, his dad could hold him and his grandpa could hold him. But even his grandpa, my son was kind of like, I don't know how I feel about this. But anybody else, if a guy would come like near him, he would start screaming. Like my brother-in-law would come near him. And he'd just scream. Um, he was just very, very weirded out by guys. And so... I knew that putting him in daycare, he was super freaked out. And I know he probably would have gotten used to it, but it was the way the daycare, the daycare responded. Like, I don't know what to do. He won't stop crying. We have to keep getting, um, you know, your girl to come hold him. And so like my daughter was not able to play there because he just wanted to be around her and they kept getting her. And I was just like, that's not what I wanted it for. So yeah, she, she's been in daycare like 10 times. 10 days. Um, he's been in once. <laughs> um, other than that, like we friends and family, um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law lived always since they were born, always lived a mile from us. Like every time we would move, it was a mile from them. Every time they would move, it was a mile from us because they, anything would happen. And I would call one of them and then they would say, I can't, I'm working call, you know, the, um, my mother-in-law. So I had a really good system hold on. I had a really good system and that's just kind of 
was amazing. So yeah, I'm trying to do the catering. I'm going to do the Instacart. I'm trying to do so much and I'm excited, but I do want to do my own thing. I want to do my own job. I don't want to go work for somebody. I don't want to punch in, punch out, um, ask for time off. I kind of feel like my husband, he's director of IT. He doesn't ever have to like ask for permission. He just kind of says, I'm not going to be here these days. And it's kind of, it helps, you know, being really flexible. So that's kind of what I'm going to do. I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, yeah. So Monday and Thursdays, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. And let me know what you think below. I'll talk to you guys later.